Hello, this is No Job K. Thank you for clicking on my video. In today's video, I'll try to fit a new door handle on my bathroom door. Um, I got this kind of door handle, you know, the ones that with the like twisting lock where you can lock from the inside. Um, this is actually day two of me trying to tackle this task. Yesterday, I just made a dozen of stupid mistakes and I will share with you guys in this video. Let's go again. Hopefully today I will get this done. So the first mistake I made is that yesterday I only had one of this normal door latch. It is not suitable for a door handle with a lock. This kind of latch is what you need for this kind of door handle. I then unscrewed the old hinge, run a knife around the hinge to cut the pain up. This way, when I take the old hinge off, it won't damage my pain so much. Once all the hinges are off, remove the door, put something on the top of the door to protect the paint of your door and your wall. Mark your new hinge on your door and your door frame. If it's bigger than the old hinge, then you will have to chisel off some of the extra wood. Screw the hinges onto the door first. Then you will have to screw the door back onto the door frame. This job would be much easier if you have two people doing it. But as I'm doing it on my own, so I laid some cardboard on the floor to help me to support the door. Once the door is back onto the door frame, try to shut it. As you can see, my door cannot shut properly. In this case, I had to take away some more wood from the door frame and maybe from the door. And here comes my second stupid mistake. I was trying to use a wood chisel to do this job to take away the wood. This was an insane idea. Do not do it. Thank God I found a plane in my toolbox later on. This is the tool you need to take away small amount of wood from your door frame and your door. Once the door shuts properly, we can move on to the latch. Place the latch onto the door. Make sure the top hole is in line with the old hole in the door. Mark the top and the bottom and extend it to the side of the door. I secure the door with a piece of cardboard and a screwdriver. Here comes another stupid mistake I made. Because I couldn't find a proper wood drill bit, out of desperation, I just grabbed any random old drill bit I got to try to make the hole into the door. Um, it just won't work. So this is a wood spade drill bit. This is what we need. But I'm still quite wrong here. Should have used one slightly wider than the latch. Anyway, use the latch to help you to find out how deep your drill bit should go. Use a bit of tape to mark it. So normally here you will be drilling into like solid wood. You will drill like a line of holes following all the marks you have. And then use the chisel to get rid of any extra wood. Then your latch should go in nicely. But because I messed it up so much yesterday, this has become super hard for me and I still don't have the correct drill bit. It took me absolutely forever to get this hole ready for the latch. So I would say use the correct tools are so important for this job. Eventually, I finally made a hole that fits the latch. Then we can mark around the outside of the latch, chisel a thin layer of wood off, so that the latch can sit flat on the side of the door. Because my old lock only needed one hole on the door, so I had to mark the bottom hole of my new latch and drill a hole through it. Please check on my next video for the rest of this project. Thank you.